Hi, and welcome to another episode of Extension Gardener on the Crystal Coast. I'm Sean Banks, and what I want to do today is I want to show you how to cut back this uh, perennial um, salvia right here. Um, one of the things that I've learned this past year, some research has come out to show that plants like this that have stems that are thicker than a pencil um, will actually provide a, a nesting place for some solitary bees. So I'm going to show you how to cut this back so that you can provide that nesting site for those um, native insects so they'll be able to, to grow and do really well. All right, as I mentioned, some of these stems are the size of a pencil. Some of them are a little bit smaller. So what I want to do with these smaller ones is I want to go ahead and cut them all the way back and just go ahead and get rid of them all the way back into the, the center part of the plant. And then with these ones that are a little bit bigger, I want to cut them to about 15 inches, 12 to 15 inches in length so that the bees will be able to, to crawl down in there this summer and be able to uh, make their nest. So again, I'm removing all of the stems that are smaller than a pencil. Uh, and the ones that are a little bit bigger than a pencil, I'm cutting them and leaving them just long enough so that the bees will have plenty of space to, to crawl down in there and uh, build their nest. The skinny ones got cut really short. The, the thicker ones got cut up a little bit higher so that the, the bees that want to use these for nesting cavities can use them for nesting cavities. These are all cut to about 12 to 15 inches, maybe a little bit longer, some of them. Um, but now that the, it's cut short, the bees will be able to have some nesting habitat and uh, the plant will look a whole lot better with all that, without all that uh, legginess going on during the rest of the winter. So until next time, happy gardening.